Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Raiza. If this is your first time here, welcome. Okay, so I did tell you guys last week that in the next six weeks, I'm going to be in placement, completing the last part of my program before I graduate. So I did finally start my placement this past Monday at 9 a.m. So I walked in and I immediately introduced myself to the two ladies that were sitting at the front desk of the clinic. I let them know that I was a student here from the college here to do my placement. So because they were already expecting me, they greeted me very quickly and very nicely. One of the ladies gave me a tour of the clinic. They showed me the three different rooms that they had within that clinic. Um, they showed me where the lunch room was. They showed me where our washroom was. They showed me where the ECG room was. Also took me to the back where there's like a back room where they process urine where the centrifuge machine is. So after that, I was basically informed that I really wouldn't be doing much because it was my first day. All they really wanted me to do for the first day was to kind of shadow. If one lady was dealing with a patient and she was taking doing venipuncture or doing ECG, I was told I could go back and forth between the two women because sometimes there would be, there's always one person that's at the front of the clinic that greets um, patients as they walk in. And then there's usually another person that's in one of the other rooms dealing with the patient either doing their venue puncture or doing their ecg so for me i was given the option to kind of go back and forth between the two not to necessarily just stick with one person at times i would kind of make my way to the front of the clinic where the front desk was so as soon as the patients walk in we have like a front desk where there's computers and then there's like a mini ipad the mini iPad is to register the patients when they come in and the computers are basically used to enter the information from the requisition form onto the computer. Unfortunately, I'm not able to use the computer and I'm not able to input any information on the computer because for security reasons, every, um, every employee has their own login information and I'm not able to use another employee's login information. If anything goes wrong, it would be their fault and not necessarily my fault because it wouldn't be my it wouldn't be under my credentials it would be under theirs so for security reasons i'm not actually able to use the computers so the only thing i was really able to do is when a patient comes in and they're at the front i basically would take their health card verify that they're still at the same address that's showing up on their requisition form whenever i would look at their requisition form a lot of the times they had a test for glucose so naturally for glucose for most cases you have to be fasting and if they were i would typically ask the patient are you fasting and if you are how long have you been fasting for and so however long they've been fasting for i would kind of write that down on the requisition form that's pretty much what i did at the front desk and then um, what I also did on Monday was ECG. I did a lot of ECG, very comfortable with performing ECG. I know sometimes ECG is also known as EKG, but that's pretty much what I did on Monday. I either registered patients or I did ECGs in the rooms. And with the ECGs, it was pretty much spot on in terms of how I learned. So for ECG, it's 10 leads all together, six on the chest, seven, eight, two on the arms, one on the right arm, one on the left arm, one on the left leg, one on the right leg. So 10 in total, six on the chest, as long as you know where the six on the chest goes and you know where the ones on the arms and the leg go, you are good to go, okay? I was nervous at first, but after doing my first ECG on my first real life patients, yes, I call them a real patient because in school I was practicing on students, so it's a little bit different. Basically, Monday, my entire Monday was spent on either registering patients at the front desk or performing ECGs or um, kind of shadowing the employees and seeing how they do venue puncture because not everyone has the same technique because even with the two girls that are there, they have two different techniques. Um, just for safety reasons and security reasons, I'm not going to give you guys their real names. So I'll just say one of their names was Sally and the other one's name was Mary. Sally and Mary, okay, were the two employees that work at that clinic. When I tell you guys, very, very, very sweet girls, very, very helpful. One is a bit older, I would say in her 50s, and the other one is in her 30s. And the one in her 30s, her name is Sally, and the best part about her is that she actually graduated from my program in 2015. So it's 
kind of nice to connect with someone that has shared the same experiences that you have. So I was super excited about that. And then the other lady in her 50s, she's been a medical laboratory technician for 15 years. So that's pretty much what I did on Monday. So Monday after I was done placement, I finished at four. I ended up going out to go eat with a group of friends. We actually went to this buffet. I had this Asian buffet, amazing food. But when I tell you when I got home and I got sick, I got home and I got sick. And when I say sick, I mean food poisoning sick. As if the week prior to that, I wasn't already recovering from a cold. And then here I am now getting food poisoning, which basically sucked because I was not able to go back to placement on Tuesday. I wasn't able to go back on Wednesday and I wasn't able to go back on Thursday. So for Tuesday through Thursday, I was actually home sick, recovering from food poisoning, felt extremely nauseous. It just wasn't working out. I was extremely nauseous, running to the bathroom and all that other nasty shit that comes with getting food poisoning. You know, sometimes it kind of, this kind of puts things into perspective for you because sometimes you plan, plan, but like you don't really know what's ahead of you. So I wasn't able to go to placement Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I did go back Friday. What did I do on Friday? So Friday, I did pretty much the same thing that I did Monday. The only thing that was different on Friday was that I got to work with urine. Now, when I say work with urine, I mean, I was taught how to process urine in the back. And when I say process urine, I mean, you know when a patient comes to a lab or a clinic and drops off their urine sample? But what we do is we actually separate that urine into smaller tubes. So before that urine gets analyzed, before that urine gets sent to the big lab, I'm going to show you guys a video um, sometime next week. In my next week's video, I will show you guys a video of what I mean by we separate the urine. So that's basically what happens. We separate the urine in the back. Depending on what the urine is being tested for, you'll choose the appropriate tube and then separate the urine into those tubes. And then once the urine has been separated into those tubes, into the appropriate tubes, the remaining urine will typically get flushed down into the sink and that's it. We don't even use those big containers. We just throw those containers into the garbage. Obviously, before we get rid of the container, we do cross out um the patient's information with a big black marker so patient's first and last name and all of their personal information is completely crossed out and then it goes into the bin so that's pretty much what i was doing i know what i'm saying might sound a little like what are you saying girl we're kind of confused but i will show you guys a video next week so you kind of have an idea of exactly what i do and that's pretty much what i did friday and let me tell you guys, uh, Friday, the weather was beyond cold. I believe our weather on Friday was negative 24 degrees. So there was nobody coming to the clinic. When I tell you guys, I think we were getting one patient every two hours. We were literally getting one patient every two hours. The clinic was dead on Friday, okay? There was nobody coming. It was freezing here, um, which kind of sucked because I didn't get to interact with a lot of patients. Um, because obviously the more patients that you deal with the more that you're actually doing hence you're kind of learning a lot more okay, So you guys that was pretty much it for my first week I didn't really do much because like I said I only was there for Monday and Friday the other days in between I was sick But hopefully this week coming up I should be there for the entire week with the exception of Monday because Monday is family day So we're all off so I'll be back Tuesday so I should be there Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday Friday and then that following week on Sunday I will upload another video and my goal for that week's video is to take you guys with me and show you guys exactly what my lab looks like so you know you guys know what happens behind the scenes I hope you guys kind of have an idea of what goes on behind the lab I know obviously it's different when I'm just talking about it rather than showing you guys but I will show you guys next week. And that's it for today's video, you guys. If you guys liked anything that I've said, give me a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and leave me a comment if you have any questions and I will make sure to get back to you guys. I usually do respond back within 24 hours, so I'm a little quick with it. We'll see you guys next week, Sunday. Until then, guys.
Bye.